Hiya, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish V here and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here, it is some hair, fashion, makeup, beauty, vlogging and a lot of perfume reviews yes if you have not already subscribed come on you know what to do please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell please watch my videos and do leave me some thumbs up and guys girls women men please don't forget to comment in my comment section as i am so enjoying the interaction with all of you guys so yes please do keep your comments coming so y'all without further ado let's jump right into today's perfume review and the one i've got for you today it is called um george's reach muse de Sior. and i hope i've pronounced that correct y'all because as you know, I do not speak French or any other language for that matter. <laughs> so only English. And um, yeah, so I found this one um, online and I just had to purchase it because it was in a black bottle. And if you are familiar with my channel and so on, you will know I do love a black bottle perfume. Anyway, like I said, this one, I saw it and I got it. And look at the box. The box it is like a kind of snake skin, and it's thin on the top, but um, easy on the eyes. I don't mind the box. So let's just get rid of the box quickly, and let's see what the bottle looks like. So there you have it. This I love the glossiness of the bottle, and as you can see, its shape. I don't want to shape like this. I would prefer to shape like this instead of like that. But anyway, it's not about me. It's about the bottle. And this is the bottle up close and personal. So it's very opaque, y'all. And you cannot see through this bottle at all. So not semi-opaque or nothing. You can't see through that. Anyway, let us do this by... I'm going to get a test strip. I'm going to smell the fragrance and I must say that this did not cost a lot of money. I think 12 or 15 pounds for 100 ml. So that's not a bad deal. So I'm going to um, spray my test strip and let's discuss what George's Reach Muse de Sior smells like. And as you, if you want to know the correct name, if I didn't pronounce that well, you'll see it. In the description box and at the title of my video so yeah so as I've sprayed this y'all what you I'll spray it in the atmosphere mmm okay this is a very um, rose vanillic freesia it's floral definitely feminine and it smells nice for the money like it's got my lovely vanilla inside and i'm really digging this one and when i first got it and i smelt it i was like oh i, w I didn't expect much because of the price that i've paid for it but then it was like oh you've got something in you so like i've said you get this predominantly rose scent and then you get this warm smudge of vanilla and freesia mixing up together and it does has a little tinge of bergamot like citrusy vibe going on as well but what my nose pick up right away was the rose and the vanilla that is what it picks up again do not quote me. I'm always telling you what I get from the scent. So some of what I can smell don't necessarily have to be in the perfumes, but is what comes to my nose when I when I spray them. So yeah, and I think I got a good sense of smell. So yeah, this is lovely for the price, and I think a little hidden gem. And as for longevity. It is motherette and with the silage, it's got um, a motherette silage as well. 
um but i have sp sprayed a lot when i've used it so i put 12 sprays so six here six here is a little bit on my pulse point here and so on so that is that is why it's moderate for me i haven't used it and used a little because i put it on when i was going out um so i don't know if you use less what what it would be like but yeah just have to tell you what i have done so when you try it yourself if you do less or more then you may get a different result so yeah but a hidden gem george's reach muse this year and that's it for my review i hope it's been very informative and i try to give you all oh under dry again it's a lovely rose vanillic little bit woody little bit cedary and it's still lovely. I do love this one and give it thumbs up. So yeah, that's it from Lavish V. Look after yourself. Take very good care. Until next time. Bye.